Hi, how are you? I figured I'd do something a little different today. Um, further back, um, I thought, what's one thing I can do? And maybe show you some exercises that you can do while sitting down. I do realize that not everybody will be able to stand for long periods of time because I started with that problem. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> but I will start by your arms. Now keep in mind, when you relax your arms out like this, if you bring them up, the slower you bring them up, the more resistance you are going to have with your muscles and you bring it down slowly. You don't ever want to go fast with this because the name of the game is to build up muscle mass and just holding them out like this you can do this for a pretty good time you'll actually start to feel it in your muscles after a while another thing you can do is just get like a small weight or if you can't afford weights you can just get a water bottle or something like that and just while you're watching tv But it's small, it's slow, even motions, because you want to build that resistance in your muscle, and you kind of want to feel it. And then, of course, you know, you can do this. This is, how many times are you sitting in front of TV and just, you know, zoning out? You could be zoning out and working out your muscles. Now, the other thing is, and it's your legs, one thing is, Stretching. Stretching will actually help with mobility because, um, especially people with arthritis, the less you move, the less mobility you move, um, the, the less you can move. So if you do have arthritis, like I do, you, you want to keep stretching every single day. It's very important to, to stretch as far as you possibly can whether it's in your back or in your knees. You want to keep that flexibility. Now, another thing you can do, I am wearing shorts, so I never wear a dress without shorts. Another thing you can do is, let's say you're sitting, commercial comes on. There's nothing stopping you. And you can actually feel it in your, your stomach muscles as you lift it up. It's still burning calories. It's not a lot of calories. No, well, let's be real. But it does help. And for those who have limited mobility, think, I can't do this because I can't even get out of a chair. You can. You can do this. Absolutely. Everybody starts somewhere. And stretching forward, up. Stretching like this. I typically do this quite often, actually, just to stretch out my back because I actually have serious back problems. Twist, pull. Another thing you can do is by lifting it up as far as you possibly can. Now, if you can't go as far as I can, it doesn't mean you fail. It just, that's your limitations. Uh, when I first started to try to get flexibility, mind you, I couldn't do that much. I, I was... Uh, I couldn't even stand that long, to be honest with you. Standing at any length of time was difficult. Definitely difficult. Now, keep in mind, whatever you do, even if it's from a chair, um, or if you need to stand up with assistance. Now, standing up with assistance, like, you know, like a chair thing. Sorry, it's cut me off. But one thing you can do 
is use your chair. Mind you, this is going to be a bad representation because this is a dust chair. But using your chair, holding on to it as a brace and being able to bend down on your knees as far as you can go. <laughs> and then back up again. I have bad knees, so that was probably a bad idea. You don't have to force yourself. But bending down as far as you can go, even if it's just this far, going back up, going back down, you're still getting the stretching, the motion, the burning of calories. All of it is relevant. All of it counts. Any exercise is good. No, you're not running a marathon, but like I said, everybody, everybody starts somewhere. This is just your starting point. And I started from a bed. I started from a bed laying on my side, taking my leg and going like that and just and then I would do the same with my hands, my arms. I, I bought little weights and then lift little five pound weights. It's where you start. It is not wrong. And it's not, it's not perfect. Nothing's perfect. See, my body's not even perfect. Like my shorts. But um, yeah, you see how... I don't even lose weight perfectly. I still have belly fat. I still have things in my arms. I have scars. I have all kinds of things. And it doesn't mean I'm ugly. It doesn't mean... I can't, you know, I, there's no point. All it just means is I'm beautiful the way I am because I am me. And that's all I can be. That's all anyone can be. But when you start on this stuff, it's like really important to um, dedicate at least 30 minutes a day of doing exercise, no matter how light your exercise is, do at least 30 minutes a day to start with. And those who work, I mean, you do come home and you watch TV. It may be only 30 minutes you're watching TV, but while you're watching TV, multitask. There is nothing stopping you from lifting a weight doing an arm curl. There is nothing stopping you from even, even if it's just, you know, while you're sitting, doing this with your legs. You're sitting down, but you're still doing the motion. This is your starting point. And this is where you go. Heck, you can even do this and get a better workout. There is so many possibilities that you can start with. And being bed bound or not, or even being able to ch sit up on a chair, you still have options. And I just kind of wanted to show that today and share that with you today that they are real and they, they are they a marathon no no but they are exercise and that's the common misconception when you are um hurt and not able to leave your bed or hurt and not really able to get up and stand for very long that's a common misconception that oh i'm disabled you're getting in that mindset of, I'm disabled, I, there's nothing I can do. 
But there always is something you can do. There's always options that you can do. And like I said, everybody starts somewhere. I say it like each step to get closer to your goal. You're watch, watching your TV and you're taking your steps. It's one step closer, another step closer, another step closer. Each step gets you that much closer to your goal of healthy. You don't have to run that marathon. If you want to, that's a wonderful goal. But you don't have to. The purpose is to be healthy and to be happy. And the two really do go hand in hand. Because if one is out of balance, the other tends to be out of balance as well. And that's where a lot of people fail when they do diets. They, they, do, they lose all this weight and they look fabulous, but they're not fixing what's in here. And then they begin to gain it back. Or they start going back to their old habits, which they haven't addressed, you know, like address why you're doing this and coming to terms with that. So the, the two really do go hand in hand. You do need the therapy as well as the, it's like mind, body, and soul right there. Just got to have it all together and become one. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of a demonstration. Um, talk a little bit about my day. Let's see. I went to the post office today, mailed the card. A very late card because I'm not sure how, I, how long I have this card. It was to my um, stepmom. And, uh, well, <laughs> I found it in a box when I was looking for something else. And what a delightful surprise. I found a card I never mailed. It was completely dressed out. I had the dress on it and everything. And I'm like, you know, let's throw it in the mail and see what it is. It's a mystery. Who doesn't love a mystery, right? Uh, I like it. So <laughs> that's what I did today. And, you know, I walked around, too. I walked around another store and kind of enjoyed the sunshine and just kind of enjoy talking to strangers, I guess. I mean, they say don't talk to strangers. But, you know, if you're waiting in a line, why not? There's nothing wrong with saying hi. And nothing wrong with wishing somebody to have a great day or anything like that. It, it, it's not just for them. By smiling at somebody and saying something positive, you're not just doing that to make their day. It puts you in a better mindset and it makes your day as well. I suffer from depression. I promise you this. Um, when I start smiling, I may not always be right in the mood to do that. You know, there are days where, no, I don't feel like doing that, but then I get myself to do it. And then I start feeling better and better, you know, like, hi, happy holidays, whatever. It, it's, it starts making me feel better. And so it's not just for that individual that you do that for. It's for yourself because it's your self care. Another thing I did was draw today. I haven't drawn in years. Am I professional? No. But I love art. And I love making art. And you know what the beauty is about making art? You don't have to be good. You just got to enjoy it. That's all that is. You can be just a stick figure drawer. But if you're enjoying drawing that stick figure, do it. So... Those are the things I'm sharing with you today, and thanks for joining me at REN0216. I appreciate you, and please hydrate, take care of yourself. It's, we're getting a cold front for most of America, so try to stay warm. And uh, with hope, never forget. Anything is possible, so never, 
never give up hope. Until next time, your imperfections are beautiful and they what make you unique. They what make you you. Mm -hmm. Yeah.